Hey everyone, I thought you might like a little fresher upper of some of our intro level global caravan moves. And you know, we've all been through a lot with COVID and 2020 and 2021, and we're getting ready to head into a fresh new year at the time of this filming, but really this applies anytime. I thought you might just like a couple of just really quickly, like let's go through a drill, let's tune up our dance and see where we're at. Now these intro level moves seem pretty simple, but they are the foundation of our entire dance. So please join me, take this opportunity to just dance, have a little bit of fun, but also bring your attention to your body and what it's doing so we can really tune in and see where we're at in our dance. So join me. All right, let's start off with our Gwazi. And yep, you better believe I will do it facing you and turn around as well. So bringing our attention to that great dance posture, feet should either be in alignment or slightly spread out. We're gonna bend those knees and think about pulling in that little belly so that we bring our spine into alignment and our hips can do all sorts of juicy wiggling. Open up the arms and swing the hips from side to side. Right and left. Good. So with this, we want to make sure our seat calm bounce a little bit. It's because I'm excited. I want to pull all this steady so my hips are moving. So it's just the hips. Let's do that. Up. Here we go. And of course, we can walk with this. Out the foot, that's when that foot would step. So as I step, my foot spins out, right? So slow. A little faster. Really pay attention. Ask yourself, am I grounded in the bottom part of my posture and lifted in the top? Are my arms moving? They should be. They should be nice and still. Let's check in with our Egyptian basic. So we have our feet, our step, touch on both sides. So we start right, touch left, left, touch right. Bring your attention to your feet. Are they nice and close together? Your ball of your foot, your toe should be pretty close into alignment. So we don't want it going out front or out to the side, just keep them nice and close. As we step and touch that ball of the foot, we want that hip to come up and twist. So it's like I'm taking my hip to the corner of the room. And again with this, I'd like to keep everything else still. So the emphasis is on this beautiful big hip movement, right? Good. Let's add those arms. Arms are up. And if I'm moving my left hip, my right hand moves. And yeah, I'll show you this from behind, don't worry. But I really want the arm that's not moving to stay in alignment with the crown of the head. So as I step, touch, I don't want my arms to open too much. I want the other arm to stay stationary and the opposite hand will turn out, palm out, and move. And I really want that hand movement to be elegant and gentle while the hip gets that nice adjustment, that nice snap. Good. Hip. Yeah, let's look at that from behind. So when I bring my arms up, really think about not letting your shoulders creep up. Pull the shoulder blades down the back so that your shoulders aren't up. And we have this nice, beautiful frame, right? So we have step, hip, step, hip, step, hip, step, hip. A little faster, step. Keeping those feet nice and close together, letting the hip do the work, and letting the hands be elegant, almost like they're swimming, right? Nice and flowy. Beautiful, so that's our Egyptian basic. Let's do one or two more in our little technical tune-up. How about your shoulder shimmies? So in our format, we have a three-quarter shoulder shimmy. So our shoulders will go right, left, right, and then there's a pause, and then left, right, left. So remember with this, we don't want it to be super big. We want it to stay nice and controlled. And the bottom part of the body should not be moving. Hands shouldn't be doing anything. 
we just have this nice frame and we want the energy to go all the way out through the fingertips. So check them with your hands, make sure they're not grooving. Breathe some life into them. Good. Really think right, left, right, I'm gonna pause, and then left, right, left. Okay, so from behind, this looks like right, left, right, left, right, left. everything we've done, the most basic foundational movement of it is facing forward, right? So this one, corner time. Now with this, we have a, a similar thing with the feet to, to basic. We talked about keeping them nice and close. Same thing, we don't want the foot out front, we don't want it out to the side. So your, the ball of your foot should be close to the arch of your foot or maybe even a little bit a little bit further apart but you don't want them to, to uh, your stance to open. So check in with that. Also bring your attention to your weight. You don't want all of your weight on that standing leg, so I don't want to have like all my balance on here. I want to have about 60, 40, 70, 30, something like that, with a lot of the weight on the standing leg, but I want that other hip to still have weight too, so I'm not leaning in any direction. Back arm is up, front arm is out and open, and it's not open all the way in and out, it's curved in a little bit, but not a lot, just a little bit. And then our hip will bounce up. So it's nice little bounce to the hip, nice and snappy. And you might notice that my body is not moving. So if you're getting a lot of this, it just means that this standing leg, the knee is bending and straightening. We want to keep that knee slightly bent, but we want to keep the movement in the hips. Good, yeah. And I like to think about keeping everything nice and stacked on top of each other while I'm doing this. I find that helps. Good. We want to, of course, do both sides. So on the left, forward, I cue to that right corner. 60 or 70% on the standing leg, 40 or 30 on the other. Back arm is up, front arm is, is open with a little curve. And now let's get that hip moving, here we go. I'm a little more bouncy on this side, so I really have to pull my attention to that standing leg and ask myself, okay, am I allowing myself to have a little too much fun with it, really bounce? Bring myself back to steadiness and being a little more grounded. There we go. Good. And that is your hip bump. All right, dancers. Now let's drill out Gawazi, Egyptian basic, shoulder shimmies, and our hip bump. Four of our foundational moves of Global Caravan belly dance. Let's take a look at how this all fits in together and let's drill those moves and really focus on what your body is doing. Here we go. Let's start with our guazi. So in our posture, think about your feet, your knees, your low belly, your spine, your heart, head and arms. Let's get those hips swinging for our guazi. Walking forward. And backwards. And forward. Backwards one more time. Right. And in place. Really swing. And just into our shoulders. Get that pause in there. Right, up, right, left, right, back. Quasi, swing it, right and left. Ask yourself, is everything else staying still? Do I have energy all the way out through my fingertips? I want to make sure I'm not lifting my feet. Oh, I'm moving forward so you can see that. So I want to keep my feet grounded, the hips swinging out. If I lift my feet, it's the opposite one as, I, as I'm walking with it. I'm picking up that other foot to step with it. So I really want to make sure I'm not trying to activate this hip by lifting, right? 
back to our shoulder shimmy. Here we go. Let's go into our Egyptian basic. And right, left, left, right. Get ready for your head bump. Here we go. staying nice and still? Do they have energy all through the fingertips? These are some great things to check in with your body once you know these moves and you're comfortable with them so you can fine tune them even further. 